Good day, guys and ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So we are um, going to be talking about a game that's been out for well since. You know what? I don't even know how long it's been out for. I just know when it came out. So I think, believe it came out at the end of the um, Xbox 360 era and the beginning of the um, Xbox One era. So around about the PlayStation 3 and 4. So um, that would be um, one of the games I do like playing, but I don't like playing. It, it's a really hard thing to talk about. And that is Destiny 1. So, um, yeah, guys. So I played a lot of Destiny, especially 1. I played a bit of 2. I'm not a big fan of 2 for multiple reasons. And I'm not going to go in, in this video. I'm going to talk about that when I make. Well, when I do first impressions on the success, Destiny 2. Destiny, it, that, this is Destiny 1. So we're going to be talking about that. I just restarted, guys. Um, So I've been... When I, when I started this game, guys, I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do? Because as I have multiple accounts on my Xbox stuff, um, I use them for different accounts for different purposes. So I've got my solo account, my Let's Plays, and my streams. Um, luckily for us guys, I worked out a pattern that gonna probably benefit. I'm only gonna use the other two um accounts for games that require um like a I call a profile save where you can only save on the um fitted profile, not as a save file. Well, not a selectable save save file, I should say. So um yeah, so games like that I'll have to do in a separate but games like Destiny One I can do on the one account because there's three different characters you can make. Which gives me a perfect amount of um business we can do. I can do a solo one, I can do a let's play one, and I can do a stream one. No problems whatsoever. Now as I'm been I'm playing this in the year 2024, you've probably noticed or known um the internet on this part of the game is pretty much dead. Um the game does play up a bit. The online feature is pretty much non-existent, um, so I can't do a lot of the online stuff. I won't be able to do raids and certain things, um, because I don't think the online features are working, or if they've worked, they're not working very well. Um, if I can, if I get people together, I might be able to, but that's a big if. So the purpose of this playthrough, when I play it, is going to be just um, solo. So um, mostly the missions, Vanguard stuff that I can do that doesn't require too much of the internet, other than the consistent internet. So I won't be able to do like the um, player versus player stuff, like the crucible and the raids and all the other bits and pieces. Um, but I can focus on the game main game story, so that's what we're going to do. And that's the one we'll talk about, guys. So I am a bit disappointed that it's, um, it's going to die, but that's what happens with these type of games. They die out eventually, and then eventually get turned off, and then they'll become useless. Um, I don't plan. I plan to play this game a bit, so I'm just gonna work out where I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna work out my accounts because I got two. I might just reset one. Um, and yeah, look like that. Anyway, guys, let's start talking. Start shooting. Um, as you probably known, I played it a few times, as I mentioned. Um, do I like the game? Yeah, I do actually like the Destiny One over Destiny Two. As I said, I will explain why I don't like Destiny Two a lot when we come into it. One thing I like about Destiny One. And actually, we'll explain why I don't like Destiny 2 while we're here. Um, I like the fact that you can do from the beginning, the first story of the game when it first came out. And you can still play it now. See, with Destiny 2, what they've done is they've taken out a lot of the um, campaigns. The Red War, I think, was don't the first touch one. Them. Um, Star Wars, or is it? Star Wars, or Star Wars? Oh, oh, I can't remember the other two guys. I can't remember the name. Give me um, but yeah, they're talking about the, the base game and the two DLCs, and I think we start out with the um, I can't remember the name of it. There, yeah, my naming names are really not working for me today. But yeah, it was the um, basically we start with the um, you know what? I'm really doing bad. I can't get my names right today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm usually pretty good remembering um, old names. Anyway. Like I said, guys, there's no. That's why I don't like this in There's just no base game and no DLC. No real DLC one and two are taken out as well. So we're starting pretty much midway through the whole season, and because of how many DLCs there is, there's a lot and add-ons and shit, it kind of it kind of got old. It got old really fast for me. But it's basically just add on, adding small bits and pieces in most of the time. Um, Destiny One had. Three, is it three or four? This is really pink. One, two, no, they have four. They have four on this one. The good thing about this one is that it kept the base game, so you can do them anytime you want. 
also gave you abilities to um, really, really fast. Um, I mean, it's one ability where you can get some hold on in there, and I he'll thought. give you um, like just a little bit. Uh, magic stone can level you up to trait forty, and another one with re levels you up to about twenty. That's this useful. Um, I don't really use it. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. When I play my solo, we not really. But either way, um, yeah, Here that's coming. something nice that I can give you. But I prefer to do it the honest Fallen way, guys. Ships. Um, as I said, a lot of the, the um, online features are off. Oh. I thought one of the easy ways to get gear is disabled, so it's gonna be really hard and really a bit longer to do. But it is what it is. That's what happens when games go old. Um, but yeah, guys, I enjoy the game. I, I'll, Too much, guys. It just, you know, it's a point. As long as you sound decent, you're right. I even, I, I, I like the original one, but the new one it seems to be a bit more better. Um, yeah, I do like the feel of the game, guys. It's very uh, fluent. It's pretty fun. Um, it's really nothing else to really say. I mean, the story so far is me basically done the first, I think the first three or four missions. Um, so I want to talk. Yeah, so when I first bought this game, guys, and I wanted to do so many bosses, they were ridiculously hard for me. I had so much trouble trying to kill them. Now that you do it, you know, you start a character and do it again, but the bosses are so easy. I think they dumb down the um, difficulty just to make it easy for players to get into it. Which is fine, guys. I mean, it's fine to do, but I really There's wish they kept the difficulty Clear options in and made it work. I mean, you should be able to make it, keep it normal. And have a hard one if you want to get experience and then have a, I think it's a one for when you've got final flight which is fine that's fun to do but yeah I think that they need an in between one one for people who want to push it a little bit harder and one people who just want to go for it and then other people who want to go back later on when they get the, the right amount of light and shit and that's one thing that bothers me about this game because there's two ways that there's two experiences in this game Light and normal experience. So you have to get a level 42, I believe. But light level goes up to 400. I think it's just 400. I can't remember exactly the number, so I'll give me there. That's over 400, and that's what it really matters, guys. So for the story, the base story, the first, first few DLCs, experience level matters more than the light. But later in the game, light matters more than experience. Um, once you get like to level 40, like, once you get to level 30, 40, yeah. Um, you know, all the lot good light stuff start coming out, so all the good um, weapons, armor, and things like that. And that's one thing I like about this game. You get armor and weapons from random drops. Um, sometimes you got to do a bit more all work right. to get more weapons. See if, I can get um, if you want to be one of those guys who I used to play with, um, he used to like. We used to do strikes, and he would want to go for them as fast as possible, not killing as many yeah, enemies as possible, just get through them. Um, so you can get some good stuff in the end of the um, strikes. That was a good thing. Um, I don't think anyone yeah. plays strikes anymore because no one's on there. So it's fly. much harder to do these days because you're, if you're doing it now, you buy yourself and it's a hour of work. But yeah, I enjoyed the game, guys. So the first one we should appreciate for just um, basically tell us what to do, do it. That's it. That's it. That's all I can say about this game. Um, but yeah, I enjoy the game, guys. I still play it, and I do. I wouldn't play it for a while yet. But guys, if you're interested in playing with me on Destiny One, I am more than happy to let you guys okay. come in. Um, you just go uh, let me know. I don't. I'm not going to put my name put in on the video yeah, because anyone else can tell it. If you guys are interested, just comment or message or go to Discord and come or message me through there. That's probably the best way to do it. And, uh, the Discord is on the um, description, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. On that note, guys, I think we'll finish it because I want to get through this game. Now I've got other we can come back them when you're ready. impressions, so I've got this up coming up and some more things coming out too. So, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, um, hit the like, hit the comment, um, subscribe, and do all that good shit. Cheers!